You guys are definitely not gonna wanna miss what's in this Starbucks bag. I'll give you a hint, it's not Starbucks. Make sure you stay tuned for later in the video to find out what's in this bag. Now in the meantime, I did wanna make a video addressing all of the new reptiles that we recently brought into the reptile room. Let's do that today. Now as a quick disclaimer, I did wanna say that I do not advocate for adding a whole bunch of new reptiles to your room all at once unless you are well prepared for it. We've had these tanks set up for a while and we've also been waiting for them for several months. So this hasn't been rushed. If you guys are interested in some of the plans of us doing this, I can link a video down in the description for you guys to go check out. It talks about all the projects that we had coming up. Most of the reptiles that you see in this video are fulfilling those kind of ambitions. While you're down by the description checking things out, make sure to click subscribe and press like to let me know that you guys enjoy these kind of run and gun style videos. It is just me bringing the camera around showing you guys some of the really new exciting projects that we have coming. And the first of those projects are these, the Cruzio Hyla Craspidopus or the fringed leaf frogs, one of the most rare frogs in the trade especially in Canada these guys are incredible if you guys are curious I did make a video that I'll link up in the cards under the description down below on how these were produced and where they were produced a very cool local Ontario breeder produced these guys and I hope to be on that list of people who produced them I got this large group of five sub adults I suppose if you guys are wondering what adults look like they are pancaking right here so you can see an adult is, I don't know, about the size of my finger. Whereas the babies are about half the size of the adults. So they still got some growing to do, but we did just move them from their kind of temporary enclosure into a more permanent enclosure with partially substrate as well as a large pond area for them to soak in if needed. Besides the few that you guys see on screen right now, like this one has some MBD as does this one. And this one has a little bit of a crooked knee. So three of them have some effects of MBD and I don't think we'll ever get to reverse it. But what we can do is stop it from getting worse. What they're supposed to look like is this. Completely squished up to the sides of their bodies. I have talked to the breeder. She is aware of this issue. So I'll probably be getting a few more tadpoles to raise up. And those will be most likely for sale. Now we can move on to a very exciting project that Brie has been dealing with. And here they are. This is a 36 by 18 by 24 Exoterra set up for the beautiful red-tailed racer, otherwise known as the red-tailed green rat snake, or as I like to call them, the Gonyosoma oxycephalum. These guys are the Borneo locale, meaning that they stay a lot more yellow. These guys have an extreme amount of variation in terms of their color morphs, and that is dependent on where they are found. These are the Borneo locality meaning that they'll keep back a very large amount of that blue that they have as well as turn almost completely yellow. So these guys will be absolutely stunning when they reach their max size of about six to eight feet if they're very large. Something that's crazy about them is their extremely wide ranging distribution. These guys are found pretty much all throughout Southeast Asia and do change dependent on those localities, as I mentioned earlier. An extremely cool inquisitive snake that I absolutely love. I guess they're technically ours, but these were really Bree's, I guess, inception or thought. The red-tailed green rat snakes have definitely been on her dream list for years and years. These guys are captive bred in Europe and really just waiting for them to settle in, start eating, and start growing. And now some of you guys might have seen that through 36, 18, 24 that we were keeping them in and thought that is a little bit too small. Now that is just basically a temporary tank for them. We'll be bringing them and making a large four foot. So it'll span this whole rack by four foot all the way up to here by 24 inch deep tank for them. Even that four foot enclosure will be temporary. When we move out, we really hope to build a massive like six foot by three foot by six foot or even bigger enclosure to house them. I love these snakes and we really want them to be a large feature both on the channel as well as in our homes. So you can imagine the, the cost and the amazing time that we're gonna have with these guys. I can't wait. Guys, it's that time. Now it's time to figure out what is in this bag and what have I been hiding from you guys for so long. Let's check it out. Here we go, the moment of truth. Oh, baby, look. 
Let's go! I have been waiting for these for so long. These are Ufaga Pumilio Bastimentos. These were formerly known as the gold dust locality or a gold dust variety of them that is turned into just the cemetery. I'll double check with my uh, my brother Troy Goldberg as you guys might know him. Cool. Look at it. I love them. I am so excited. Like so excited. I can't wait. Now before I let these two go, I feel like I should show you guys the tank that I'm putting them in first. They'll currently be staying in this 12 by 12 by 18 Exoterra that has a custom background along with all live plants and fully bioactive. I can't wait to see this tank mature over the coming months and hopefully produce some baby froglets in it. Alrighty, in the moment of truth. Knock the lid off. Lids off. Now let's watch as they take their first steps into their new vivarium. This is always one of the most satisfying parts, just watching, okay, where is he gonna go first? Then he decided to leap straight onto the bromeliad. And now moving over to the second of the two, I just put him on top of the little log up front here, and then he decided to rocket straight up to the top. The rest of the evening, they decided to maintain this position and bounce between both sides of the tank all night. It wasn't until the next morning until I found them sitting inside the bromeliad and utilizing the actual enclosure. Such a satisfying thing to see. I'll take a break from staring at my frogs and let's go show you the last new animals that we brought into the house. Those new additions do happen to live in the old Chihua enclosure, and I guess you guys just saw a sneak peek there. It is another pair of Chihua. Bree sold her pair of Chihua for this gorgeous pair stunning pastels, reds and greens on this beautiful lizard. This is the male. I don't think we've named them yet. And the female is actually right there as well. You can see her hand there, but unfortunately she's not showing her pretty colors. These guys are stunning. I was not thrilled with Brie for bringing in another pair of Chihua, but I guess I'll be able to let it slide because holy smokes, the babies that are gonna come from these two will be fire. And now that's going to do it for the video, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed. I am so thrilled with the Bastimentos. I've been waiting for those frogs for literally years and I've had other Pumilios in that time and it's just never been the Basties. So happy to have them. I cannot wait to hopefully produce them in the future. And I really hope you guys enjoy the journey with me. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video because it has been a blast to make. I've had a lot of fun showing you all the new things that have entered the reptile room. Again, if you've made it to the end of the video, please don't rush out and buy a bunch of animals all at one time. It's not healthy for you. It's not healthy for your bank account. And it can be not so healthy for the animals either. There's a lot that goes into making these plans and acquiring these animals. Thank you all very much for watching. If you like this video, make sure you smash that like button. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, anything like that, leave them down there as well. I reply to every single comment that I get. So... Feel free to have a little bit of fun down there and let me know what you think. While you guys are down there, it's actually free to click the subscribe button if you do like this kind of content and hit the doorbell right next to it. That'll notify you every single time I post a video. So I wanna thank you all very much for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Reptile room for March? I don't know. Let me know. Bye.